my captain and the Azimio flag bearer, the Right Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga, brothers and sisters, and all protocols observed in Awezekana. What a magical word, which I hope each one of us can internalize and believe in because it's a very simple but powerful word or phrase, if you like. It gives us hope. It reminds us of possibilities, of what is possible. One year ago, this would have been, would have seemed impossible. But if the last few weeks, last few months, is anything to go by, we know in our Sekana it is possible. Tonight, we share in this belief and yearning for a better tomorrow as we unveil our manifesto, our promise, our commitment, and assurance to Kenyans that the Kenya we want is possible in our Sekana. Tonight is about a new beginning. It's about restoring dignity to all Kenyans through health, education, economy, and it's about leaving no one behind. It's about an inclusive society. It is about getting the necessary attention and resources to change the lives of all Kenyans. It's about an inclusive and holistic approach to governance to ensure that the young, the old, male and female, formally or informally employed, rural or urban, have a say in the stake of the land. It is also about laying the groundwork for the legal and administrative framework necessary for the realization of our aspirations. It's about a country built on the rule of law and good governance. It's about a country where citizens are not only equal before the law, but are equal indeed and in the way they are treated. Most importantly, it's about integrity and the prudent use of public resources to ensure that efficiency and effective public service delivery is available for our people. Ladies and gentlemen, I know these are the core commitments that my principal holds dear to his heart because they are my commitments too. They are a set of our shared values that make me so proud to be part of this ticket. I am therefore very proud as I stand before you this evening because for me, and for millions of Kenyans, it means affordable health care. It also means increased opportunities for our women and our youth. Our manifesto truly represents the people. It is a result of a co-created and participatory process as those before me have already said, and it's about the aspirations that are enshrined in our Constitution. These are the aspirations of the youth, of women, of children, and of the men of Kenya. It is a set of priorities that will propel Kenya forward towards pro prosperity. I know we can't wait to hear them. To, uh, to read, internalize, and act on them.